What is a spectrophotometer and why do you need one? Good question. Stick around and find out. In front of me are several types of spectrophotometers. We'll go into a brief overview in a minute. But first, let's talk about why a spectrophotometer exists and specifically why you need one in your shop. In the simplest of terms, our perception of color is based on three things, an object, an observer, and light. A spectrophotometer is designed to control two of those variables listed above, that of the observer and of the light. Have you ever painted a room? Perhaps you had a moment where you look at a paint swatch in the store and you think you've found the perfect color. Only when you get home, the swatch doesn't quite look the same under the house lights. This is a good example of why you need a spectrophotometer. A spectrophotometer shines a controlled light source onto a surface, an object, and then uses a sensor, the observer, to retrieve the data and determine a precise color value. This is important because as humans, each one of us perceives color slightly different based on the capabilities of our eyes. Age, genetics, etc., all play a role in how we will see color. This is why it is so important to have a reliable and independent source of information that we can trust. Spectrophotometers give us empirical data that lets the user know exactly what color they are viewing. Often this color is defined by something called LAB. This lab color space represented here represents the visual spectrum that the typical eye can perceive. The data gives us a verbal way to communicate color that people can use to aid in production across multiple printers and even achieve consistent results in different locations anywhere around the world. The units in front of me start at around $600 and go up from there. Each unit has specific capabilities and purpose. Some measure color swatches against known color targets and others have capabilities that can scan color charts to help printers accurately reproduce color. As we start here on my left, we have units designed to measure ink on paper. And as we move to the right, you'll see that we have units that can measure hard substrates and even fabrics and clear acrylic. We have other videos that go into these units in more detail and I strongly encourage you to check them out. If you still have questions, please don't hesitate to call us or comment below. Our color specialists are here to help.